Okay, so I'm Catherine Pfaff. I'm a math professor at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. And I want to tell you a little bit about negating quantifiers. A lot of times we need to negate statements. For example, if we're doing a proof by contradiction or a proof by contrapositive, or even just we want to know the contrapositive of something uh, so that we can figure out um, what's going on. And one of the tricky parts of this is that you need to know how to negate quantifiers. And quantifiers are, um, so we have the existential quantifier, which is that there exists, the backwards E. And then we have the universal quantifier, which is the for all, which is the upside down A for all. Okay? Um, so to negate a there exists statement, So there's kind of two steps to these, and then you're going to kind of notice that there's a lot of similarity in what you're doing between uh, negating a there exists statement and a for all statement. So we want to replace there exists with for all, and the other piece of what we need to do is we need to negate the conclusion. So I'll show you an example. So here's our example. I want to negate, so I have some real number, satisfies, I'm going to adjust my line a little bit, I'm inconveniently located currently, so it's going to satisfy x squared plus 1 is less than 0. Better location for my line. There we go. And it helps to turn this a little bit uh, symbolically. So the part that we want to kind of identify as the uh, there exists part. So this is the same thing as there exists in X and R. Okay. So here we go. So we remember, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is replace this with a for all. So it's going to become for all real numbers. So let's go ahead and write this. So we have our answer. So we have all real numbers. I'm going to put a little bit of room in between so I can draw some arrows. Okay, uh, so this is where we change there exists to for all. That was like our first step. So one, we changed there exists two for all in that piece there. And then we want to keep, sorry, we want to negate this part. So how do you negate this? What's the negation of satisfying x squared plus 1 is less than 0? It's having that x squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so satisfy x squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, and this is where we have, so... This is where we applied our second step, which is that we negated the conclusion. Okay, so we switched there exists to for all, and then we negated the conclusion. Now, in the other circumstance, we're going to do kind of the, we're going to keep the second step, and then we're just going to swap these two, and then we're going to replace for all and there exists. So that makes it a little easier to remember because really, the, how do we negate quantifiers? We swap their existence for all and then negate the conclusion. Okay? So to negate, I'm going to erase this portion here to give me a little bit more room. So to negate a for all statement, What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to replace for all with there exists. And negate the conclusion. Okay? 
So let's go ahead and do an example of this. With the tricky part being here, we want to keep the universe of discourse to be the same. Okay? So that's kind of new, the only kind of new part in here. So we want to negate the statement that every integer is odd. Okay, and again, it helps, like we did over here, to kind of symbolically look at that so we know where our for all is, just like there we knew uh, where our there exists is, okay? So this would be the same thing as having for all x in the integers, okay? And then it's, I'm going to kind of emphasize here that here's my universe of discourse, which is the integers, okay? And we're going to want to keep that the same. Uh, our conclusion is, I'll use the same colors over there to kind of emphasize it. This is where we do the second part. Okay, this is odd. Great, so let's go ahead and show. So just like over there, so the first thing I do is I, I swap the there exists and for all. So I want to start with there exists. Okay, so I changed for all to there exists. That was the first step. And then the next step is that an even integer. Noticing that we still have, oops. So we still have that the universe of discourse is the same, okay? Uh, so maybe I'll emphasize that first. Uh, the universe of discourse stays the same. I'll fully write this out because I haven't written it out fully here yet. Uh, and this is the part where we negated the conclusion, right? So this is part two where we negate the conclusion. Okay? So again, we kind of swap for all and there exists. And then we negate the conclusion without changing the universe of discourse. Swap for all and there exists, negate the conclusion without changing the universe of discourse. Right? Uh, so I will kind of even emphasize here that for both cases, we just switched for all and there exists and negated the conclusion. So um, it's kind of like a little bit the moral is that for both uh, circumstances, we just switched for all and there exists and negated the conclusion without changing the universe of discourse. Okay, so that's how you negate quantifiers.